it's double switches so i'm here again with webcam parrot and today we're going to talk about beating stall hey yeah i know um stall is it's definitely one of the most annoying teams to uh to run into on the ladder you know when you load up a game and then you see the guy's got that full stall squad looking right at you it's uh it's automatically disheartened, but like there are there are some things that actually really help when it comes to dealing with stall. And I feel so, like there are a lot of people that like don't really understand them, or are just unaware of them. So today we're going to talk about how you can lead versus stall stall breakers, some semi breakers, and then just some other miscellaneous mons and maybe some other strategies for beating stall yeah so i mean i i, I guess out of those topics we'll start with a lead matchup i think is what we wanted to do yeah let's start at the beginning of the game right generally stall likes to lead with mega sableye getting their mega up as fast as they can that way they can prevent rocks at any time during the game and typically you have a lot of options here because mega sableye doesn't really do much you, as long as you're able as long as you don't mind getting burned or losing your item you should be fine versus mega sableye i mean the main thing is like you you always know stall has to lead mega sableye or they risk you getting rocks up against them um, at some point in the early game, which is really bad for Stall. Like, they really don't like it when rocks are up. It breaks a dodgy sash, and it, like, whittles the whole team, and it makes it really hard for Stall players to actually, you know, win. Um, and because you know they're going to lead Sableye, you can always lead with something that has a good matchup versus Sableye, and that it becomes an issue when your team doesn't have one of these Pokemon, because you have to lead with something that's giving up momentum to stall, and that's that's really bad. Like if Saul gets momentum, it's really hard to get momentum back because of just how fat the team is. Um, so we've got a whole list here of things. There is more than this, I'm sure, but uh, these were the ones that you know are the most obvious. So obviously, fairy types like Carfable, um, they just uh. straight up force Sableye out. Like Sableye can't take fairy type attacks. Uh, then you have, yeah, and then you have your offensive fire types like Charizard and Heatran. They, uh, uh, Heatran forces Sabe to switch out into something like. I mean, Heatran. Actually, there isn't much. Well, it, it, it's like the fire types for one, like they can't get burned, obviously, which is one of the only things Sableye does. But Heatran actually has like another aspect to it, and that's the. Uh, Magma Storm obviously traps what it hits. And then you can so then go you, into... I mean, if you trap Sableye, then it, you kill it, and then they, the rocks are down for the whole game. Yeah. So they can't and stay in with they, Sableye. They also can't go into stuff like Chansey or actually yeah. most of their team. Yeah, there's nothing on Saw that... I mean, Toxapex can get lucky. Yeah and beat Heatran, but it usually it really, really struggles. Like, it has to um, it has to not get any oh. spadef drops. Um, yeah. That's But yeah, from Earth Power. That's basically the only way. If, if Heatran has Torn. And if Heatran doesn't have Torn, if it has rocks instead, um, it just gets rocks up after something else comes in and gets trapped. So, it really yeah. helps. Um, but, Charizard uh, and... Yeah, Char I mean, yeah. both both Megazards, um, you really Star don't care about Sableye. They yeah. don't, I mean, unless it has like foul play, but nobody runs foul play anymore. Um, everybody's yeah. running protect, or, or uh, some people are running fake out, but you should run protect because uh, <laughs> obviously Lele. But uh, one of the and, best uh, fairy fairy leads, like fairies, do a number to Sableye in general. But Feeny is especially good um, because, for one thing, it makes whatever comes in next. It means it can't get burnt. So. Um, if you decide to, so, you know, let's say turn one, they've got their Sableye out, and you have your Tapu Fini out, and you click Moonblast. Well, uh, for turn one, as they protect, right? Well, now, um, 
you're probably going to be thinking, oh, well, they're probably going to switch out, right? So you might double to your breaker, which is like, let's say it's, a, you know, S SD Terrakion or something like that. Well, because of Misty Terrain, you don't get punished for it if he decides to stay in with Sableye and click Will-O-Wisp, because you can't get burned. Uh, another thing is that whatever he goes into can get Natured Man Mist, like, reduce the half health, um, and then you can just taunt it. So, uh, there are, you know, there are certain things you can do to gain a lot of momentum in this matchup with things like that. Like, Freeny, in particular, you know, you can Nature's Madness on the Switch, and let's say, you know, their um, Chansey comes in and gets Nature's Madness, then you can taunt, or you can just go, go straight to one of your breakers. Like, you can just go straight to Bulu as they heal or get up rocks, and then you get a free SD, and then you can start breaking. Uh, obviously, you have similar scenarios with your other two tapus. You deal damage, taunt to prevent recovery, and then you just repeat that over and over. Yeah. Magirna is sort of different because you just... You probably need Volt Switch you, if, yeah. if it's going to be a good lead match, right? Because, yeah, you force out Sableye, but you're not doing any damage to Chansey when it comes in anyway, and you have no way to get momentum off that if you're not Volt yeah. Switch. There might be some other weird sets, like, I don't know how much um, all that pummeling does for Chansey. I don't think it does enough. It definitely doesn't. Or you could, if you really want to, uh, I've seen someone run a physical shift gear set with floor cannon. I, I can't say it's a good idea, but it it handles chancy i mean does it get like, like steelium z does it get like focus punch or something it's gonna have like no, z focus punch no it doesn't no you just iron head with steelium z after a few shift gears well there you go does a premier or... score breaker for you for you guys right there physical beginner <laughs> so snap it up before someone else gets to it um, yeah, uh, and I think, uh, yeah, so th obviously there's the fire types that can't get burnt or um, don't really, you know, either they have like a Z crystal or they're a mega or they don't mind losing that item. Heatran really, really doesn't like losing his item, but um, if it's lefties, but uh, sometimes, you know, even then it's worth it because if they stay in, they get trapped, so, or burnt by Lava Plume. Both are good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, and, and then obviously there's the Lum attackers, so stuff like uh, Crawdaunt, um, Garchomp, and Landorus, uh, among others. If they have Lum and SD, they can lead versus Sableye, and they can just turn one SD, obviously, as Sableye tries to Willow them, and then it, it doesn't, you know, obviously they Willow and it just eats the Lum, and then they can't live the Earthquake, or, um, you know, the Crab Hammer or whatever. And it forces them out, and usually, um, obviously, usually setup is a massive problem. It usually ends up killing something. Um, yeah, it, it at <laughs> least forces them out. Because obviously, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing stable I can yeah. do to them with the sort of relevance. Like, okay, it knocks off your lumberry. Well, that's just the same as burning you. Basically, it doesn't really matter. They're they're pretty much forced to go into their chant uh their clefable, and if it's stuff like Crawdon, they're they don't like taking adaptability crab hammers or like from Lando base one forty five EQs regardless. So it mm. puts them in a rough spot. I mean usually they'll just go Skarmory on Landris. Uh, uh only yeah. But um you can be knockoff as well. So uh, you know, like Corridon and, and Landris both get knockoff, and it doesn't matter what they go to, uh, something's losing its item. So that's usually a pretty big deal. Yeah. But I think that's the lead matchup pretty well uncovered, so we'll go into Stall Breakers now. Uh, so, first off, um, we're going to talk about Full Breakers. And what I, what I mean when I say like a Full Breaker uh, would be. A stall breaker that is able to beat stall uh, by itself, like without another dedicated breaker. Like obviously it does need other Pokemon, but 
um, it doesn't, you know, you know, you're not going to need to run something else that's really good against Stall with it to have a chance yeah. of getting Stall. So we're talking about stuff like uh, Shed Shell Lele that isn't trapped by Dougie, um, Taku Bulu doesn't get trapped by Dougie, Marowak, again, not trapped by Dougie. Um, there are some other things like um, Subcoil Side Guard. It doesn't. It doesn't mind getting trapped by uh, Doug Trio, and then it can toxic anything and just set up coils and sit around and be bulky. Yeah. Cause and then you have stuff like yeah. The only thing and that comes out have... is like oh, is like unaware of Fable and you can toxic it. So. Uh... It has, yeah. to, it has to like heal bell and it, it turns into like a big 50 50 and you get like free switches with it as well so and then you have stuff like combine lot keldeo and ladios keldeo just it has it hits on the physical and special side so it can like hit stuff like chancy with secret sword hits stuff like um skarm with scald and it just yeah. boosts up and breaks the team. And it's usually and like can... Z Hyper Beam to break past Pex as well. Um, yeah. Because that's the only thing it really struggles with on that team. Um, and yeah, and obviously Cuffable, um, it can't take Hydro Pumps, so... Yeah. Not at all. Uh, and Latio, uh, just, yeah, it just kills everything on Stall, either with uh, Psy Shock, because it, again, it's under the one of those things, it hits on the special side and the physical side, so Chansey can't wall it because of Psy Shock, which is usually like, the... the big thing with special attackers. Yeah. Stuff like sub subtoxic heatran as well. Uh, it basically does the same thing that you'd expect from like a, a taunt or, or a rocker set. Uh, but it's even better against Storm because um, you sub on, on Sable, I usually on this protect, and then you, you can just like toxic everything. Like there's basically nothing that has an easy time breaking sub. Um, and there's nothing on the team like except Toxic. Uh, and Doug uh Doug Trio, but Doug Trio yeah. gets Magma stormed and then and then dies. It can't do anything. Yeah. So yeah, it has a seventy-five percent chance of losing to Heatran, Doug Trio. Obviously, the Magma storm just needs to land, or if it's a lava plume, it has a thirty percent chance of losing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Toxpex, you still have to like uh, get drops on Toxpex, but uh, Toxpex really like doesn't like it anyway. Like. He, he, no matter what, you, the, what way you look at it, Toxpex doesn't like subtoxic heatran. Uh, heatran's just really annoying. Uh, SD Kartana is pretty good. Um, uh, you have uh, fight DMC for uh, Skarmory, and yeah. then yeah. Well, I mean, because they people aren't running whirlwind on Skarmory these days on Stall, uh, you actually vacuum yeah. wave to break sturdy, oh. so you can't get countered, and okay. then and then you just kill it. Yeah. Mega Gyarados has a really good mashup with Substitute and uh, Taunt. And Mold Breaker to break stuff like Sturdy and uh, Unaware. Unaware. Yeah. Because obviously, again, uh, Skarmory, if Skarmory had Whirlwind, it wouldn't be as good, but usually it doesn't. But even then, you can taunt it, so it can't Whirlwind you. So it's, it's decent. Yeah. And with Mold Breaker, it can actually taunt Sableye, which is pretty funny. So uh, that helps out. Uh, obviously, turn one, you, you want to sub. So you don't get willowed, but and it's usually better to sub anyway. Like, yeah, you can taunt mm -hmm. it to prevent that, but like you might as well just get your free sub right there. And a Toxapex, it can't haze you because you can taunt it. Can't burn you because you have a sub. Like, it basically just beats the whole team. Uh, it, it will, it will be mono attack, like because obviously you need your sub move as well. But it, it, it still has a good chance. Um, yeah. Stuff like uh, old, old stuff like Glass Core. Yeah. Still yeah, really good. Glass Core is pretty fun. It can't really get status because uh, Poison Heal and Protect. And then you can just sit around, Toxic Things, Taunt, Roost yeah. back up. Uh, even the SD set's pretty good against Thor. Yeah. yeah it, um, it gets knockoff. It's just decent EQ. against Thor level. It's not very good right now at, at anything else, but <laughs> it is okay against Thor. Uh, yeah. The, the SD Lando set with um, Z Stern. Uh, yeah. That's really good. Because uh, you can crush um, Skarm. If you have sub, you don't have to worry about counter as well. So. Yes. Yeah. Substitute is, is good on that set as well. Um, 
and uh, it lets you avoid uh, save lies with. Yes. Yeah. And usually, I think knockoff doesn't break sub, right? Because obviously he, he doesn't get the no. bonus. And he's taught, he's uh, intimidated as well. So, yeah. You can, yeah. You can lead off with that and get your sub. Um. Unless, well, I suppose he might not make it, so you'll be careful about that. But. Yeah. There are other opportunities to sub. I know uh, something you like is Rain Dance Manaphy as well because of the Z move. Yeah, because you can uh, Hydro Vortex the Clefable. And then, uh, actually, you, well, it if you're on your Psychic. You, yeah. yeah. So it's if you're on Psychic. psychic you don't need to worry about packs, but otherwise you sort of need to save Hydro Vortex for it. Yeah. And, uh... uh yeah. So basically, yeah. Basically it has a good chance. It has a good chance of breaking a spawn no matter what set you have, like even if you don't have Psychic, but um, obviously it's a lot more difficult because you only have one Hydro Vortex, you can't kill both Fable and Pex with it. And yeah. Even then, I mean, I guess it's not amazing because Clefable could protect on your Z move, but they usually yeah. don't. Um, or you just wait around till they burn a protect or something like that. Yeah, you can force I... them to protect. So. Also, it's uh, you can um, if they take like thirty or so percent, I mean. Clefable isn't too often whittled because uh, you just try and keep it healthy all the time. But uh, if you can get it whittled, you don't have to worry about it much because uh, Surf does like 40% on its, like in the rain, because yeah. used from it. Yeah. It does a lot. Uh, yeah. it, depend it depends a lot. Uh, I know some Clefables are running more Spadef just to deal with Manaphy. But some of them are like yeah. full defense for uh, Hooper, so... Yeah. Uh, speaking of Hooper, uh, I would say... Off of the... So those are, those are full breakers, right? Those are things that uh, they have a really good chance of beating Stall just by themselves without any other breakers. So now we're going to go into like some of the uh, semi-breakers. So these are the breakers that usually need help. Um, and yeah. I just mentioned one of them, and that's Hooper. So Hooper, yeah, it does a lot of damage to everything on stall, but the main issue is that it's trapped by Dog Trio. So it usually gets a kill, like they have to sack something, and then Dog Trio comes in and traps your Hooper. So it does really help against stall, and you can use it to like whittle stall and not kill anything instead as well. That 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 can be good. Uh, but ultimately, it's not breaking the store on its own. Like you need something else. I mean, if you if you're somehow able to kill the doggy uh, by like forcing it to drop or like having it trap something else or yeah, like if you have a heat trap out. and a hooper, yeah, like yeah, then, yeah, then you have a better chance. Uh, having rocks up doesn't even help because hooper uh, can't hit doggy first; it just dies. So because uh, it has like terrible uh, fizz there. Some other stuff is like Magina, like really good against Stall, but uh, it doesn't beat Stall on its own. Uh, Mega Morwile is another one. It beats a lot of stuff on Stall, and but Duggy weakens it enough to the point that it can't kill the whole of Stall if you need another breaker. Um, so you also have uh, moms like Superior. There's some Stall breaker sets with like Taunt and Knock Off, so you can knock off a. Uh, Chances on uh, if you light and uh, start um, start storming up. So, and you can also stop a chancy or a clefable from healing back up with um with, with protect. Yeah. yeah, and that uh, taunt per, uh, prevents them from uh, wishing back up. The issue is um, it's just you still have a hard time beating Stall because you only have 8 PP on Leaf Storm. So that just gets in the way. And you only have one other coverage move as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they can like predict and go to Skarm to eat your Leaf Storm and it does nothing, you know, stuff like that. 
Yeah. Another one, another big one on this list is uh, Sub Punch Boswell, which is really good against Storm, but it doesn't complete. I mean, it does really well against Storm if you're running Earthquake and Poison Jab. So, like, you you know, your Sub Focus Punch Earthquake Poison Jab. Then you can beat all of Storm, but that's a really bad set. Ideally, you know, it doesn't have Leech Life, which is the big reason to run the set in the first place. It's like you'll beat Stall, but you literally won't beat anything else. Yes. And that's generally not something you want to run on a mon. Yeah. But, you, don't, uh, you don't want to sacrifice all of your other matchups just for a good matchup against Stall. Yeah. Another one is uh, SD Garchomp with Groundium, because Groundium uh, lets it kill Clefable. Uh, so good. you're not walled by the unaware side of things, and you have Fire Fang for Skarmory, which is really good against Stall. Uh, the only issue is they might predict your Groundium, like and they might predict your Z move, and then obviously um, that you just completely walled by Clef. Yeah, or they might predict, or they might double out to Skarmory or, or etc. So you have to then Skarm be careful. Might uh, counter you on the Fire Fang and. That's mm. not fun. No, that's not that's not good. Uh, although usually, you know, you want to click like Dragon Claw or something, so that, that doesn't happen. Uh, it's a break sturdy first. Uh, uh, some other stuff like Volcarona, really good against Saul, uh just really good against Sabai in general, which is nice. Um, and it, it it's only really prevented by Pex, uh, like I guess Chansey as well can Toxic it and stuff like that, but. Still, it's got a decent matchup versus Stall. Another one is uh, Life Orb Taunt. Uh, it has Taunt, it has U turn, it can run like Knock Off and Superpower to, to kill Chansey, uh, confuses everything, Regenerator, it's just really annoying. Taunts everything, like no recovery, forces out Sableye, uh, doesn't really care about anything like Stall's gonna do to it because of Regenerator. Worst thing that can happen is like. You get paralyzed, like if they're running T Wave um, or something, but usually they don't. So. Yeah. Togekiss is really good against Saul, but because it just nasty plots up to six versus Chansey, but it doesn't have like um, a, a, an amazing matchup against Saul, because there are certain things that kill it. Um, and it doesn't have a 100% chance to beat Chansey, like it has to get. Uh, the, the necessary flinches, but in general, it is very good against stall as well. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't consider it a full stall breaker because it's it doesn't have a one hundred percent chance to be stall, but it's decent against. Yeah, them. I suppose like yeah. Uh, those are all, those are all the semi breakers I can really think of. Um, ordinary heat transets, like not sub toxic heat transets. I guess I would consider a semi breaker as well. Mm -hmm. So that's really good against Stall, you just get trapped by Dogtria. There are like weird shed shell heat transets. Mm -hmm. uh, those aren't, uh, yeah. Those aren't, um, those aren't great, but they do, yeah. they do have a good matchup against Stall. Did we talk about track and circuitry? Uh, we, we can do, so. Uh, Tarak is like, track and circuitry, they hit really hard. Um. They're able to break past pretty much everything. The only issue is Dougie again. That's Dougie traps both of them. I mean, Zerkatry. If Tracking gets a Rock Polish or Zerkatry gets a its Z move, like if it Z moves and gets a Speed Boost, you can break Dougie's yeah. Sash. But um, obviously, it still kills you. So, or if you like quick attack yeah. Terrakion or something, uh, yeah, you can break the Sash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are both good against the wall. So these semi semi breakers, you want to think about running something else with them in order to actually beat stall. And I guess we'll just go into other quickly, like some other things that are really good against stall. Uh, things like Gengar is really good against stall because it can taunt a bunch of stuff, and there's like a taunt subset going around as well. It's good against stall. Yeah. Uh, it can run like Ghost Team Z, which usually allows you to like pick off something. Um, Chansey can't really touch you, which is their main special wall. Yeah. Um, they usually have to deal with you through uh, 
Clefable, uh, not Clefable, Sableye and Dougie. That's pretty much it. Sableye, it's... Obviously, you can't get trapped either because you're a ghost type, so... Yeah. Even then, it's really difficult, like... Yeah, they, they basically always lose something to Gengar and everything gets haunted, but yeah, Gengar is really, really frail, so usually it dies at some point. Uh, Excadrill has a niche against Sword because of Mob Breaker, it can toxic Sableye and it can get rocks up versus Sableye. Uh, usually they just go right to Scar to default get away, but uh, it, it helps. It helps a lot um, when it comes to dealing with Stall. Uh, stuff like Tapu Fini and Coco have really good sets against Stall uh, because they can uh, run Nature's Madness and Taunt, which is really annoying for Stall, and it gives you free switches into whatever you want. Um, you know, without having to worry, like you can come in on Trancy, knowing that it has to heal or go for se seismic toss because it's taunted and it has no other options. Uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, Greninja is really nice against Stall because it gets up spikes against Stall because it forces out um, Sableye. So, you know, if you're running Hydro Pump on your Greninja, or um, if their Sableye isn't running any Spadef, which is really common right now, usually you can get them to switch out and go to something else that doesn't have Magic Bounce, and then you go up your spike, um, which is really, again, still, that's fantastic. But usually they can't go Skarm Rate either, because your HP Fire will do a lot to them. And even, like, Dark Pulse and Hydro Pump will do a lot. And you can actually still, you can do that with... Um, an Ash Greninja set as well, if you have like Splash Plate or um, what's the other name for Splash Plate? The uh, something, something Water, I can't even remember exactly. Uh, and Muck is nice just because it uh, knocks off a bunch of stuff on stall and it can poison everything on stall with this poison surge. Like it can poison Sableye, which is really great. Uh, but yeah, that's mostly it. Uh, as it goes for stall breakers, so you want to make sure you've got your you've got something to deal with stall on pretty much every team. Right now, stall breakers are just fantastic. Like there are loads of really good stall breakers. There isn't really a good reason for your team to lose to stall automatically because of all the tools we have this gen. Uh, but now I'm just going to go into some other strategies you can use to let you beat stall. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about in this video, and I think that was the last thing we planned to talk about, is some other yeah. strategies that are good against Stall. One of them... So... Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, one of them is Trains. Trains are pretty great because you have things like Electric Train, where you tap your Koku itself is pretty cool because you can taunt things, you can ball switch around lets you get into your breakers stuff like metacham are able to break uh sable eye with thunder punch because of uh, electric terrain um it's pretty much most breakers on offense really like having electric terrain up then stuff like uh missy train prevent all your breakers and stuff from getting will-o-wisp or status or anything and then you have like grassy terrain or psychic terrain, grassy terrain. I mean, you can, it's just passive recovery over time. Yeah, I'm sure nobody's really been something. able to use grassy terrain for that sort of thing and yet, yeah. but I'm sure it will, uh, you know, it's going to come up at some point. I'm, I'm almost certain that it will. Maybe you can do something with sleep. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty much. Maybe. Hasn't been used yet. Maybe. Um. The main thing, like the best one by far, right now at least, is a, is electric terrain. And the biggest reason is just because uh, Coco comes in, it sets up terrain, the turn it comes in, and then you click Volt Switch or U-Turn, and immediately, you know, your threat comes in with electric terrain boosted, like right away. Uh, and, you know, they basically have to go to Chansey as well. And there's so many of these breakers, like Metacham with T-Punch, More Wild T-Punch, um, and uh, Metagross with T-Punch, that are all, you know, they all just smash Chansey, so it, doesn't, it can't stay in on them. And then this electric terrain lets them muscle past their usual checks. Um, so, you know, you can kill Sableye with T-Punch from Metacham, and you can kill Skarmory with T-Punch 
uh, with Metagross, which otherwise walls it. And um, stuff like uh, Metagross, well, Skarm would otherwise wall it. Now they have to rely on Dougie, who can't even one-shot Metagross if yeah. you have BP or something, which, I mean, you probably don't, but... If you yeah. are bullet punch, you can use it to actually beat Dougie as well, so... Yeah. Unless it's grand, yeah. Also, Psychic Train. I mean, you have a Lele, so you don't really need much from Psychic Train, but it's there. You can't really use it for much, because, like... Uh, it's not like priority is gonna be an issue. Use some psychic stab, but like they have save. Um, but you have a lele anyways, so you should be good. Yeah, I mean, it has some use in psychic terrain, like you know, boosting zen headbutt and things like that. Yeah, uh, there are some unconventional store archetypes that don't have a dark type, like they don't have a save eye as well. But you know, like, uh, it helps more against like a uh, Venu uh, stall. CL stall. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. Um, another a similar topic is um, rain. So obviously, rain uh, it boosts a lot of your big attackers. Water. Like, yeah, like Kingdra yeah. and Omastar and Kabutops. And it makes them really good against Storm in rain because they do, do so much damage with their water attacks. Uh, stuff like Spex Ash Greninja is really powerful against Storm in rain because Toxapex mm -hmm. uh, doesn't take hits from it. Uh, Chansey, I believe, takes a massive chunk from it too. Yeah, and then you have stuff like Amasaur. You can run like Knock Off plus Hydro Brum, and after you knock off, Chansey's Easy Light on the first time they switch in. Uh, it's really rough for them to switch in again versus pretty much anything. Um, yeah. Yeah. Without EV Light. I, th I believe you can you can probably kill them with uh, Z Hydro Vortex, right? Like, with their EV Light knocked off as well. Yeah. If, if you have a boost. That's basically what almost like does on Rain. It's, it's yeah. there to break things over Kingdra. So, terrains and rain, very similar topics, both can help you with stall. Another one is uh, trapping or luring. So, uh, obviously, if you can trap Skarmory with Magnazone, uh, you're going to have a lot easier time with stuff like your Pinsir, uh, your Metagross, your Gyarados, you know, things like this that, that stall needs Skarmory for. You can also do things like track Toxapex or Chansey with Doug Trio. You can use Pursuit to get damage off on things, which uh, means that next time they come in, they won't take that hit again. From yeah, the stuff like uh, Ben Sand or Titar uh, Sand plus uh, Zard Y. You can uh, trap a Chansey. Nah, as <laughs> <laughs> you can pursue Chansey, and you know if hazards are up as well, you can bring it within range of your Zard Y or you know whatever like, your, your breaker to is. Where. Yeah, it, after it takes like sixty-ish, right? And then after that, it can switch into Fire Blast or it's anything like, 52 like that. It's like fifty-two percent or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, regardless, Fire Blast is like twenty-five-ish. Yeah, so it I doesn't think. take two usually. It depends. Yeah. It depends on what breaker you're running. Yeah. It's something you can look into though. It's another way, something else you can do versus Saw. Uh, also, uh, Trick and Switcheroo are great against defensive walls. So, you know, Chansey is a lot less threatening when it's choice specs. If you've donated your choice specs to their Chansey, it's not quite as threatening. Or, you know, if you give it a Scarf or something. So, a lot of Scarfers can run Trick like uh, Latios, Victini, Gengar, I think, uh, does Jirage get Trick? It might do. Yeah, it does. And like Togekiss, and who else runs Trick? I, I don't know that anybody's actually running Scarf Togekiss, <laughs> but <laughs> sure, it gets Trick. I'm not, I think there might be some other really weird things you could do, like Tricking, uh, what's that thing that grounds you? 
Um, not Lagging Tail, the other one. The Iron Ball. Uh, yeah. You can use it to ground Skarmory so that Landorus can kill it. I guess that would be pretty funny. Uh, I don't recommend it, but <laughs> it's something you can try. Like, your pincer is, instead of being Mega, it's like <laughs> Switcheroo. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if it gets Trick or Switcheroo. It probably doesn't. Uh, but yeah, that aside, because, like, most of stall is incredibly passive, they don't have any offensive pressure, just tricking them and locking them into one move, they're not going to be able to do anything, it's just generally a nice thing to have versus stall. Yeah, I mean, like, worst case scenario, um, is, like, you give their Dougie a scarf. That's not even yeah. bad, because that's basically the same thing as breaking their sash, because they don't have yeah. it. And then the funny thing is, you just stole Dougie's sash so it can't kill you, <laughs> and it doesn't have one. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like and, um, and, and it's a big prediction thing, like, they can go to Sableye, but you might not click Trick. So it's a threat. Mm -hmm. it's, this, it's an imminent threat for them. Mm -hmm. So... I guess the last thing we had was uh, Vault Turn. Vault Turn's really nice because not only does, like, just being able to force something else to come in and then getting switch initiative, like, let's say you bring in your Scissor versus their Chansey and they're forced to go into their Skarmory, and you, uh, but it also lets you easily get into your Breakers um, so you can go into your, I don't know, your Zard Y because they, because you you turned or whatever. Yeah, because the U-turner just... forces them into something else. Like Coco forces them into Chansey, and then as they go Chansey, you've already clicked Volt Switch or U-turn, and now you've got your Metagross out, and it's a threat. Yeah, it gives you momentum against Storm, which really really helps. But uh, I think that's it for this video. So thank you all for watching, yeah. and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm not sure what we've got lined up. Yeah. Right now we might be doing Bo analysis. So. Yeah. Look out for that one, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.